Right, so I've thought how to do this. I'm gonna do this along all the wall. And I'll do it in sections. So I'll do this section first. So it doesn't fall on me because it could fall. So I'll do this section first and then do that section and then that section and that section. And this way I know it's gonna be strong and it's gonna last. Cause uh I don't wanna make something nice on the inside and then it's gonna rot in one year. There's no point. <sighs> Alright, so I've got this plank that's treated wood. It should last in water and everything. So I'm gonna measure that length, put this wood in and to make it really tough I have these long ass screws that are gonna go from here into there that's that I don't care how it looks on the outside honestly as long as um, it's gonna be tough so here's the wood I've cut it uh, I'll put silicone either side on all the sides and then bolt it in <coughs> hopefully it's gonna stay in there uh, I might have to put something on the outside to hold even pressure in addition I would say many people would deem this caravan unfixable but I'm not many people shit like this gets me going alright there's the wood in here okay that could work huh <laughs> this could work for the door also sweet 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 <sighs> okay I might have to lift it and hold it somehow or a piece of wood yeah, right here. Okay. There it is. Left, maybe. That's it. Sweet. And now let's see if it goes in. Yes, it does. No way, <laughs> if I would ooh, if I would plan this, it wouldn't be like that. It's exactly on the door. There's the fun part again. So, I've just realized, uh, in order for me to do this, uh, this thing down there, the plywood needs to be here also, inside. So, uh, Long story short, I need to do the whole wall. Um, so, in order for me to put the plywood in, I gotta clean this, put new polystyrene in, change these things, so replace. I'm just gonna leave this here as it is. Take, take this, so put new. New wood here, new certain wood surrounding there and there. Obviously that's gonna be here. Make the door frame. Stick it. And then put the thingy on. It takes a long time until you decide on the method. But I think I have it now. And whether I want it to or not. I need to remove all this, or just leave it on, but remove all the screws <coughs> and put new ones in. Yes. These screws are effed, and water is getting in through them. So I'm just gonna do my favor, myself a favor, 
and replace them. And it's bolted here, but hey, I can just do that. Really curious how am I gonna put it back, but I'm not there yet. With one of these brushes, you can just clean along on the edge. Right now, after that, hopefully, when you take this hammer and tap them, they hopefully go out. This one did, happy days. There's a lot of them here. Got a bit excited, so I did some work off camera. Uh, <coughs> this is the wall. This is how it looks now. Um, I've put the wood here around the, the door and this is stuck. I had to use the multi-tool to cut on the shape of the door because it's a bit rounded there. This is stuck. I stuck this yesterday. I've stuck this now. Put the polystyrene in here and these are new. All of that, that, that. Uh, I've used two types of, uh, whatever, silicone, whatever. This is for the outside, so that's here, all the way around and under. I was generous with this because I don't want any water to seep in. Oh. Oh. Um, the screws are new, bam, 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 bam. All of these screws are new. These screws screw into those wood bits right there. Um, this and that are the mounting points for my boiler. So the boiler is going to live here after I put the wall in. I've decided to do in sections, so just so I don't lose this giant section for the door, uh, I'm just going to do a, a tall section here up to the roof, cut it to, to length to match so that I can finally put it in here like it's supposed to be staple it in and then put those giant screws to hold the wall in to the structure right so i i didn't i didn't think i would get here in this lifetime but here i am so this is my wall this is gonna go in here like so all right and to trace it trace it I'm gonna use a marker pen and this and I'll just follow the line of the wall if you know what I mean and that should um, hmm, that should work I might use it like that though. yeah because this is a clamp and it's adjustable and uh, it could work it could work um, using a cable tie to fasten the marker on it. So I'm taking this, shoving it in there as deep as it can go. Ideally, you want to get it in so the aluminum bit comes like that and then like that. So if you can get the thing in there, it's beautiful. I think mine is in, so I'm just gonna tap it to my foot as long as, as far as it goes, right? And then the trick is, go to the biggest, to the furthest point and adjust this thing to get to the edge of the plywood, so you don't, you don't waste away a lot of it. And then, Hopefully, start marking. Now, yeah, this works, man. Mine is shaking, but um, I 
From here, I can do it by hand. It's probably gonna be like that. This is the first plant, this is the first, you know, wall plank I do. So, uh, I'm expecting it not to be perfect, but I'm expecting it to be usable. So, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. I'm going to attempt to do it with this thing. If it works, it's gonna make my life way easy. Or easy error. One or two of those characters. It does work, but it's a bit messy on the edges. And I take one of these. Do that. But nevertheless, he's paid. Ah, you can't bastard. go anywhere. And I think this is the. Take this. Take this edge off. This All right. Future, Let's try it. Don't sabotage my stuff. What do you know? It fits. Well. Not really. How the fuck, man? Yeah, it did work here, but it's completely off down there. I'll see, maybe I can use this side here. So I'm not gonna throw this away. I think that happened because the marker moved. So I might need another cable tie on the, other, the opposite direction. Stop it from moving. Right, to fix this, I've added another cable tie. It's not moving anymore, so I don't have to hold it. Tighten this proper. Here we go again. 70, 70, and then I can chop it. So that's 170. And he's got such a strong. Technically, you need to cut. You need to mark it on the underside to have the, this perfect. But Push it all the way in there, yeah. As much as you can. Okay, so you push it there. And then with this, because it's extendable, right? See? You go to the highest, to the biggest distance. And match that to the end of the thing, right? Like that. And then you start marking. The thing is, you gotta keep this shit straight. Because otherwise, it's not, you know? Yeah. I've learned this from a guy on YouTube, of course. Oh, okay. 
Right, I've developed another method to cut this so I don't wreck it. If I cut it on the inside, like that. So again, it's short here. So what I'm tempting to tempted to do is just from here, just cut, cut like that. There we go. That's more like it. Could have done with cutting a bit more from here, but I'm happy. I'm seriously happy with this. Sweet man. Huh? Is that the limit where the door is? Sweet. Sweet. I got this staple gun from uh, Machine Mart. It came with a nice uh, thingy nice case. I've got these, these staples, two mil, two centimeters staples, load staples to top process. There's my staples on the top. We push this in like so. All right. Turn it on. Let's do a test. I think it arms itself when you do that and then oh, oh sweet that's not bad I like it I got like a 12 pack of these glues this is the wood glue that I have duo two in one water resistant internal and external use. So here it is. Now I'm just gonna be really generous down here. Go like a glue. Let it drip out. I don't mind. Just put more in here. That. All right, and now the moment I've been waiting for. Putting the wall in. One piece wall goes in here like that, and like that. Tap it all the way in, like so, press it, <laughs> I'm not sure how am I going to hold it in here, apart from the staples, nice! Right, now let's see if this works. Putting some screws in here. Seems to work. This is good news. I'll put as many screws as I can here on the inside. My plan is to put two from the outside in also, so it holds it. Get rid of this one. Mm. 
This is very promising. I might not. I might not have to do the outside screw bit. I think this should be alright as it is. Pretty confident that I can let go of this now. Let's try it. Yeah, putting this piece of wood in was the best decision ever. Let's see if all this was worth it or not. Oh man, that's solid. That's solid, bro. <laughs> this is proper solid now. Not sure what to do here. I might put some tiny screws in just to keep this in so that it gets stuck. <laughs> Right, unfortunately, you have to use the multi-tool to cut this precise. Um, that little chainsaw, I think, it's not gonna do a really good job. Alright, now next is this bit piece here. Stick that on, put these there, and then this wall can go in. This thing can cut through polystyrene like a mother. And it cuts on a straight line, which is great. Because usually polystyrene is stubborn, even with a, with a standing knife. See what I mean? It comes off. Measure this piece from here to here. Sixty-four. I'm putting some wood glue here, and the normal glue there. Putting this here, like so. Beautiful. Pressing it initially with my hand and then I'll just put another piece of wood on the other side and like two or three clamps. So that's in here, I can just take the excess put it somewhere here. Right, for this one, I'm just gonna take it on a, um, you know, line. Uh, we say di na prope na prope, so like from close to close. So I'm just gonna slightly mark this, make sure this is parallel. Mark this line to where it needs to be, I think, right here and just roughly cut outside it and then put it back in here so that I can do the tracing bit with the marker. Alright, so from close to close method, it kind of works. I just need to cut this a bit more and uh, this is quite nice here. After I cut this, I'm gonna mark here and there on the other side and do this as straight as I can and that's that. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, let's try this. Not bad. I'm saying not bad. This is gonna get, get some filling in. The wallpaper on top. Okay, so now the wood glue. Okay, that's that. 
Okay. There is. I just like your own stuff because to plan like that. <sighs> this is in the evening. This is what I managed to do. Uh, but I know how now, so it's gonna be faster with this ball. I still need to do that. That bottom bit there. But I think that's it for today. I started on the front, taking off the wires and things, taking off that gas enclosure. <sighs> but I think I'll call it a day. This is off now. Just gonna remove it and leave it for tomorrow.